This is the Cookie Monster review. 80% of Google's revenue comes from advertising, but the firm believes that uh, grouping its users into cohorts based on their browsing habits is an effective way to advertise to them. Cohort. Cohort. After analyzing the browsing habits of these cohorts, they can then effectively send advertisements they think are most relevant to them. Uh, not everybody is happy about this development, however. Google's rivals claim that it is an attempt to push uh, smaller advertising firms who rely on cookies out of the market altogether. Google has access to an enormous amount of data from users of its search engine, YouTube, cloud data, and other platforms. Smaller competitors, on the other hand, will be forced to either buy data from Google or end up going out of business entirely. Once again, it appears that Google's actions have not been entirely pro bono. However, consumers will likely be pleased with the increase in personal privacy. The question of how it will affect Google's competition, or lack thereof, is yet to be determined. However, US and UK courts are already hearing cases on the matter. Do you find it creepy that cookies are observing your browsing habits? I mean, I consider myself a bit of a tech guy, tech person, so I've known about tracking and cookies and that for like 20 years. So mm -hmm. it doesn't really creep me out. Um, it just seems like um, an unfortunate part of the system. Mm -hmm. And by using the internet or by using certain browsers or smartphones and apps, mm -hmm. then we do, seem, seems like we give permission for them to observe our behavior. What search engines would you say are most popular in your country? Are there any others that you think people use other than Google? You know, I'm not an iPhone user, but I think some people just use Safari, which is the built-in browser for our iPhones. I did look at the, uh, the what's it called, the market share yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, of search engines, mm. and Google is like 91% oh. or something. And then I think Bing is number two with like 4%. Uh, and then it's a, sorry, it's, it's a sorry list after that. Yeah, um, yeah. DuckDuckGo is not even on the list. And uh -huh. that's understandable because some of DuckDuckGo's uh, searches are flawed to say the least. Mm. But I, I take the bad with the good. Mm. All right, uh, that's gonna do it for today's lesson. Thank you very much, everybody. We'll see you later, bye.